Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given system of simultaneous equations by substitution method. Let's look at the very first equation. It is quadratic while the second equation is linear. Let's focus on the second equation here. I am going to solve for y. That means I am going to isolate y. For that reason, I am going to move this 3x to the right hand side. If I move that one, the left hand side is going to leave left with 4y equal to 2 minus this 3x becomes negative 3x. Since we want to isolate y, I am going to divide both sides by 4. This 4 and 4 cancels out so we simply ended up with y equals to 2 minus 3x divided by 4 and I am going to call this equation number 2 and this one the very first equation I am going to call equation number 1 and now in the next step we are going to substitute y equal to 2 minus 3x divided by 4 from equation 2 into this equation number 1 that what that means is wherever we see y we are going to replace it by this y quantity let's go ahead and do that one that's going to give us x square so x, equation number 1 becomes x square plus 8x and this y I am going to place it by 2 minus 3x divided by 4 plus 12 equal to 0 and our next step this 4 and 8 they reduces to 2 4 goes into 8 twice so we just ended up with x square plus 2x times 2 minus 3x plus 12 equal to 0. Let's simplify. Furthermore, uh, this is x square and then plus we are going to distribute this one. So that's going to become 4x minus 6x square and then this is plus 12 equal to 0 and now we are going to combine the like terms so this is going to become negative 5x square plus 4x plus 12 equal to 0 and we want to make sure that our leading coefficient is positive so I am going to multiply by negative sign across the board that's the easiest way so that's going to give us positive 5x square negative 4x minus 12 equal to 0 and this is our quadratic equation and we are going to use this quadratic formula to solve this given quadratic equation and now we need to find a b and c so we are going to compare our given quadratic equation with the standard form of a quadratic equation which is right up here and it can tell us that our a equals to 5 b equals to negative 4 and c is negative 12 and since we are running out of space on this side we're going to move to right hand side and here is our quadratic formula we are going to fill in the blanks so x is going to be equal to minus and b is negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 b is negative 4 square minus 4 times a is 5 
and C is negative 12. All right, divided by 2 times A is 5. Let's simplify furthermore. So X is going to be equal to negative and negative become positive 4 plus or minus. This is negative 4 squared is 16 and this is going to become plus simply 240 divided by 10. Let's go furthermore. So 4 plus or minus 256 divided by 10. And we know that uh, 256 is a perfect square. So that is going to be a 4 plus or minus 16 divided by 10. And here we are going to split these signs, positive and negative signs. And so we are going to have one of the sign is going to be a 4 plus 16 divided by 10 and the other one is going to be 4 minus 16 divided by 10. Once again one with a positive sign and one with a negative sign. And let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. I'm going to move over here. So 4 plus 16 is going to become 20 divided by 10. That means x turns out to be 2, one of the solutions. And on this other side, we got 4 minus 16 is negative 12 divided by 10. If we reduce this, we're going to get x equal to negative 6 over 5. That is another x value. And we know that from equation number 2, y equals to 2 minus 3x over 4. Let's find out the y value by just substituting x over here for 2. So that is going to give us y equals to 2 minus 3 times 2 divided by 4. So that is going to give us 2 minus 6 divided by 4. So that is going to be negative 4 over 4. So that means y turns out to be negative 1 value. And now we are going to repeat the same process for another value of x. So y I can write 1 over 4 I can write this 2x minus 3 over 4 could be written as 1 over 4 times 2 minus 3 times negative 6 over 5. That's going to be a little bit easier to deal with. So that is going to be a 1 over 4 times 2 plus negative 6 times negative 3 is 18 over 5. So that is going to give us 1 over 4 times 28 over 5. And here you can see that this 4 and 28 cancel out with 7. So they reduce to that thing. So y turns out to be simply 7 over 5. And here is our answer with two sets of ordered pair. The first one is 2, negative 1. And the second one is negative 6 over 5 comma 7 over 5 and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye